Hello, hi everybody. My name is Adria, and the food I'm choosing is Indian corn because I'm of Native American ethnicity and from New York where it grows all over. Corn was one of the most important crops to the Native American Indians. It was eaten at almost every meal and was found to be easily stored and preserved during the cold winter months. Corn, or also known as maize, has a very interesting history. Starting about 10,000 years ago, ancient farmers in what is now Mexico took the first steps in domesticating maize. The wild ancestor of corn is Tio Santi, but Tio Santi is very different from modern day corn. The cob is very short and the seed, the kernels are fibrous and fall off easily. The ancient farmers noticed that not all plants were the same. Some kernels were larger than others and some tasted better or were easier to grind. Through this they saved the kernels and planted them for next, year, next season's harvest. Over time, the maize co cobs became larger with more rows of kernels eventually taking on the modern form of maize. According to the Iroquois, corn, beans, and squash are three inseparable sisters who only grow and thrive together. The corn provided a natural pole for the bean vines to climb where the beans would fix nitrogen on their roots, increasing their overall fertility and providing nitrogen for the following years. Bean vines would also help stabilize the corn plants, making them less vulnerable to blowing over in the wind. The shallow-rooted squash vines became a living mulch, shading emerging weeds and preventing soil moisture from evaporating. The three sisters also complement each other nutritionally, where corn provides carbohydrates, the beans are rich in protein, balancing the lack of necessary amino acids found in corn, and the squash yields both vitamins from the fruit and healthful delicious oil from the seeds. Corn can be eaten and prepared in several different ways. The native Indians would usually eat the three sisters together in either a soup or a stew. They also would grind blue kernels to make uh, tortillas, also popcorn, just eating it raw off the cob or grilled, also a traditional fry bread. Corn has changed a lot through history from Tio Santin to the modern maize and now farmers are genetically modifying corn to be resistant to the Roundup Ready herbicide. And we're still unsure of these health concerns, but we know that it's definitely not good for the environment and our soil, which is very important. So corn is found in a lot of foods now, like our soda, the high fructose corn syrup, maltodextrin, dextrose, caramel coloring, and citric acid, which you can find right on the back of the nutrition label if you want to avoid it. Here we have the nutrition facts for a cup of white corn. You see, we see it's very calorie dense and mainly a carbohydrate at 41%. Also having a high amount of protein, 16 grams and 8 grams of fat. It's also high in vitamin B6 and magnesium. Here's the My Plate recommendation for a half cup of cooked corn and it counts as a half cup of starchy vegetables. 